Hi right, guys, welcome back to another episode of Scotty's Backyard Barbecue. Looks like I gotta get a haircut. Oh. We're gonna be using that wing basket on some chicken wings and some boneless wings. I got some breasts I cut into squares. That thing's amazing. I love that little wing basket. I'll leave a link down below where you can purchase one of them on my Amazon show store. And a chance you can win one. Yeah, Scotty will fit the bill. I'll pick a lucky winner to win one of these wing baskets if you follow these rules. You like my video, you comment on this video, and I got a special guest somewhere in this video. Be walking across my screen and you leave a comment down in the comment section what you saw, who it was, alright? You'll be entered to win that wing basket, alright? If you don't win, you know, just go buy one. Remember, it'll fit a rotisserie square. I don't know, probably fit all rotisseries. Anyway, enough talking. Try to keep this video short. It's gonna be a double header, folks. Not only are we gonna do chicken wings, I am gonna throw in some spare ribs in that wing basket. We are gonna take Uncle Steve for a ride today, folks. He's gonna go round and round. Uncle Steve, you're gonna get busy dizzy today. All right, let me bring you down and I'll show you the big mess I got down here. Hi right, folks, I got quite a thing going on here. I got two bags of wings partially frozen. I found on that basket, partially frozen is the way to go, folks. I will show you exactly how to use that basket. I used it off camera, and I found uh, putting them in there partially frozen works way better than thawing out and putting oil on them. I'll show you why. Anyways, we're gonna toss in some of these boneless chicken breasts that I cut into one inch squares. We're gonna hit the wings with the old Uncle Steve's West Coast Shake from CJ and the no name sauce. All right, I'll show you how we do that. Then when the wings are all done, we're gonna pull them off and we're gonna put some of these spare ribs in that I cut wide off the bone. And I also saved a little piece. I'll throw them in there. And we're gonna be hitting that up with some of this rib magic and some blue hogs. All right. Hang on folks, this is gonna get epic. We're gonna go outside, fire up the Weber kettle and we're going to get that wing basket going. I'll see you outside, folks. All right, folks. I got the wing basket on. We're not going to put any seasoning on until about 15 minutes. All right. One full canister of charcoal. Bottom vent is at a quarter of a way. And the top vent is going to be all the way open. We are going to run this around 375 to 400 degrees. I'll bring you back in about 10 minutes. We'll see what they look like. If it looks like they're all getting nice and colored and a little fat melting, then we'll go ahead and hit it with that seasoning. Now I tried this out a few times, it works great. Hang on, folks. Alright guys, it's been about 12 minutes. We're creeping up on about 150 degrees. Alright, see so we're starting to get a little color now. A little brown charcoal color. A little bit of fat dripping out. We're gonna get this Uncle Steve. We're gonna take Uncle Steve for a spin, folks. Maybe I should open Uncle Steve's brand new bottle, folks. I'll leave a full link to all Uncle Steve's products down below. Hope Uncle Steve don't get dizzy, because I'm taking him for a spin. Anyway, trying not to block the camera too much. But, you get the idea. You just sprinkle this down. Now let it roll around a little bit. Kind of keep an eye on it. See how well coated it is. Get all the way around. See, there's a couple of sticking over there. All right, that's enough for now. Then we're gonna give it a another ten minutes, and we'll come out and do it again. We'll keep doing it about every ten minutes, and then we'll take a temperature break for temp temperature break temperature test. Be right back, folks. All right, been another ten minutes. Oh man, they looking great, folks. Gets a nice color on it. Fat starting to render out. Got a couple sticky ones. Well, there we go, it just broke loose. Now you can tell how much seasoning you got in by looking at it. There we go. Take care of those sticky ones. <laughs> I guess you could spray the basket with oil if you want, but I didn't see no need in it really. I find out you put your seasoning on first, it just pounds it off. 
even when you coat it with oil. I found out let the chicken produce its own little greasy coating stuff and it seems to stick better. You can watch see how many has been coated. You know, go a little bit higher, let it rain down. That looks pretty good there, folks. But we haven't used that much out of the bottle. Like that. Uncle Steve's probably getting pretty dizzy. Hang on, Uncle Steve. All right, we're going to go 10 more minutes. And we'll check out the internal temperature. So far, the total cook time's been what? 25 minutes or so? All right, we'll be right back. All right, guys. It's been about that time. Let's see if we get an internal temperature reading without burning our fingers. We're going to shut this bad boy off for a second. Try to find the switch. One fifty-eight on that flat. I mean, this ain't scientific, but one sixty. Looking for a little consistency. One fifty-eight. Let's see if I find one of them little nuggies. Yeah, one sixty all the way around. All right, we're uh, ready to saw, folks. All right, folks, I got the Uncle Steve. Oh man, Uncle Steve, you're getting dizzy. I bet. Don't throw up, Steve. What I'm going to do is just slowly drizzle, like my arm. I should have placed my camera somewhere else. In the same way here, you'll get an eyeball. And just let that go around a little bit. Don't worry, the full description down below where you can buy this down below. Amazing stuff, Uncle Steve product. West Coast, same way to Gator Shake, it works good on chicken. Yeah, we're gonna let that go about 10 more minutes and we'll come out and look at it and see if we might need more sauce All right, see you back in 10 more minutes folks All right guys been 10 more minutes now right now we're kind of looking for good color Which we seem to be achieving Get that nice golden brown color I wonder if we can sneak a peak of temperature without turning it off Yeah, 165 165 162 Alright, we're just gonna let it roll till it gets up to temperature And just keep going now, if it looks like you might need some more sauce, which it does We're gonna hit it with a little more sauce And we're just gonna let that run on down That's all the sauce Scotty's got it, Uncle Steve Let's give it a little more dusting as a finished coat I mean, just have fun with it, folks. It's a lot easier than working a kettle. You know, if you want to sit down in your chair with your buddy and have a cold beer while your wings cook, this is the way to go. But if you like working the kettle, which is a lot of fun, but also a lot of work, I'll show you a picture of this guy, how he worked his kettle. Play a little music and enjoy it. I'll be right back in a, let's go now, 10 more minutes, folks. Enjoy the clip. guys we should be just about done with these bad boys and we start on them ribs Ooh, they looking pretty decent we'll check the internal A little nugget down there yeah looking good I'm gonna pull these off and bring them inside and fill this basket up with some ribs. We'll be right back, folks. Double header. Alright, wings are out, ribs are in. I'm gonna turn these on. I added uh, some wood chunks and a little more charcoal. Give these ribs a little smoky flavor. Now, these are ribs. We're gonna let these go for oh, about a half hour. 
45 minutes. All right, we'll check them. Be right back, folks. All right, guys. I checked it about half hour. Everything went out really good. Look at that. Can you see that? Let me boom you in. Oh, we're right inside the cage, folks. Oh yeah, they're sweating out good. Kind of hard to see through that basket, but trust me, about to sweat. We got the magic. Uncle Steve's going around and around today, folks. We're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna dust on some magic. We're gonna let it rain right in down on them. Oh yeah. Hey, that's hot too, folks. That charcoal looking good. Oh, yeah, we didn't use that much. What about a couple of tablespoons? All we use. You're probably wondering, Scotty, how are you gonna get that thing clean? I'll show you all that when this video is done. Yeah, do another half hour. See what it looks like. Oh man, folks, these ribs are looking darn good out of this basket. A little more of this. Uncle Steve, he's got to be pretty dizzy by now. Sorry, Steve. Took you for a spin. Alright, that should be enough seasoning. I wonder how the temperature is doing. Maybe we can sneak in there, folks. It's a barbecue. Have fun, folks. 165. I think everything I cooked today has been 165. Oh, they're just beautiful looking. Can't wait to get these out and show them to you. 170. We're gonna do about 15, 20 more minutes. Then we're gonna come on and apply some of that sauce. That killer hog. Alright, be right back, folks. Alright guys, let's see how these ribs are doing. Oh my goodness. If you can't see what I'm seeing right now, but it's amazing. Now we got the blue hogs championship blend poke. And we're going to do the same thing. We're just gonna drizzle this in there. Now you can take them out and squish them, and toss them around and brush them. We're just gonna coat that on there. Let that soft flop around. It smells amazing, folks. That rib magic. That sauce dripping down on that hot coal. Yeah, we're gonna get this about another 20 minutes. Let that sauce get all set up. I'm gonna use all this sauce. No sense leaving a tablespoon in. Yeah, this wing basket sure getting a workout, folks. Nice and easy, though, folks. No fuss, no muss. Yeah. See you back here in 20 minutes or so. Then we'll bring them inside and plate them everything up. All right, folks, I brought the ribs in. Boy, the day looks delicious. Now to kind of clean this thing the way I do it, you take your grill basket, the hot charcoal, you put it underneath that. Do this at halftime if you're doing football games. Get a wire brush. Clean that off. You're going to kind of let the heat from the charcoal. Just burn that off, folks. That's all you do. They're a little bit of a pain to clean, but not too bad. Like I said, I used this about six times already. <laughs> or you can just put it in your bucket and let her soak. All right, let's go inside check that food out. All right, guys, I told you them ribs look delicious. They're beautiful. The wings ain't too bad either. The Uncle Steve, the Southwest Coast Shake, and the No Name Sauce, and Rib Magic with the Killer Hogs original on there. Put it in there, wing basket. I think it's fun. Yeah, it can get a little messy. Might be a little hard to clean, but it's fun. All right, let's see how we did. Don't remember, I'll be giving one of them away. As soon as you've seen that person run across my screen, just put down in the comment section what you see. All right, let me try one of these wings. That one there looks pretty good. Got a nice little char on there. Now you leave it in there as long as you want. Get as much char as you want on there. Let's see how we did. Not bad. Bite through skin, nice and crunchy. 
Ooh. Now West Coast shaking, no joke, folks. Good stuff. Uncle Steve sauce, amazing. Oh yeah, nice wing. Let's try these boneless ones. I don't even know why I threw them in there, but oh wait a minute, I forgot my blue cheese sauce, folks. You cannot have wings without a good blue cheese sauce. This is just your basic blue cheese sauce that you make anywhere. Let's try those boneless ones. I don't even know why I did those, but we'll try them. That sauce killer, folks. They're a little bit dry, these uh, boneless breasts. They're not bad. Let's try a flat. That flat looks amazing. Got some char on that. Try a little bit of sauce on there. Don't worry folks, I'm the only one home today. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. That's some fine wings there, folks. My blue cheese sauce. Don't worry, I have the, the basic blue cheese sauce ingredient down below. I right, try these ribs. These are like a party rib, folks. Then I sliced them wide. I did the two bone. Left a nice white piece of meat. And then I left a uh, little bone, little nibblers. You can nibble on them. That, boy, they look amazing, folks. Look at that. Let's see how they taste. Wow. Beautiful bite through. Nice and juicy. Tell you what, that rib magnet, no joke either. That killer hog sauce and rib magic, perfect pair. I could probably use a little bit more sauce. I'm a sauce man. My father, tenderness. Got a nice little smoke ring in there for that little piece of wood we put in. Awesome. There's some nice little party wings and some party ribs for the game. Alright, folks. Want to try one of these little nibblers on the bone? Let's try some blue cheese on rib, folks. Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see how that does. Oh, yeah. Blue cheese on ribs, amazing. Ha! Ah. Oh man, these little nipples are perfect. Love them. Alright, I guess. Alright, I will shut up now. Alright, everything be down in the description box. I'm gonna eat this during the game today. Alright. Got stuff all over my face. As always, the Uncle Steve will be down below. We took him for a spin today. Like these beautiful things here. Outstanding. Peace out.